Hello and welcome back to the Visions Coding. Um, today I'm going to be going ahead and doing episode one of the Bucket Coding series. And um, yeah, so what even is that? Well, Bucket Coding is or Bucket and Spigot. Uh, you make a plugin for your Minecraft server, and um, yeah, it's basically a modification or a change to the server jar that and the plugin obviously do that. The code you write for it will enhance your server and make it better. Now, before we begin, there's a few things that we need. So first of all where am i i'm in something called intellij you can go ahead and download that uh just look it up it's really simple uh you're gonna need the java jdk i'll link def I'll, I'll link everything down below so you guys can check that out uh you need the java jdk and you need uh minecraft server and you need a little bit of java experience i mean you can do this without java experience but it'll be you won't really understand exactly what you're doing here so anyway here we go let's begin so you're gonna open up intellij and you're gonna come to a different screen but I'm in and then you're basically all you're gonna have to do is click create new project and then it'll take you through some things and you'll name it so and the, here's what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna uh, click the new project and so yeah you'll come to this screen right here if you can see it uh, I'm not entirely sure if you can see it so give me one second and I'll be able to fix that uh, okay so you should be able to see it so you're just gonna do next next and then I'll ask you to name it and then one second I'll okay so you're just gonna it'll ask you to name it and then you're just gonna do you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna name it uh, uh, plugin you can name it what I actually will name this uh, episode one this one down. Okay, so it'll uh, okay. It'll open us up to this window right here if you did everything correctly, and then you're just gonna go to drop. You're just gonna drop it down. You'll see it should have these folders in it. Expand that. You'll see it should have all this, like all this Java stuff. You can just close that for a second. There, you're not gonna need any of that. You have all this stuff. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna click on it, select it, go to File, Project Structure, and this is glitching out of my screen. For, I don't know why. That's okay. Just go to pro. Okay, yeah, there you go. Go to project. All right, yeah. Go to product structure. Go to modules. It's like on the left hand side. And then go to this uh, blue or uh, sorry, this green thing, and there should be like blue selection. And then go to jars or directories. And then here's where we're gonna do the spigot or the bucket part, wherever you should use. So go to your server folder, like navigate there. Mine's on my desktop, and then I just have like my network backed up right now, so I should have servers, and then UHC, and then just basically find your spigot or craft bucket jar, and then just hit OK, apply, and OK. It's great. Now if you left this external libraries open, you'll see that it has a spigot 1.8.8 jar, and that's good. That means you did it correctly. So you can close that. You're not going to need that now. Now you're going to go to the SRC folder, right click, do new Java class, and then actually, no, you're going to want to right click and make a new package because I forgot to do that. So you need, your package will be your name. First, it'll be me though, and then do me dot your name. So mine is just vision coding. I'm just going to actually, I'm just going to do vision, and then you do dot, and then you're going to do uh, what your plugin name is. Mine's just going to do, I'm just going to do. Uh, F1, F1 doesn't really matter, and then enter. So I should make this little folder thing here called me dot whatever your name is dot F1, and you right click new Java class, and then you can name this. Uh, we're gonna name this main. Sweet. Now I have our new Java class, but this is great. This does nothing. This will not do anything for us. So we're gonna go and type extends. Sorry, extends Java plugin. And uh, if you know a little bit about Java, at least you'll know that there's just you need to have curly braces here. And if you know if you're a little bit more advanced, you'll see extends Java plugin, and you'll see the imports. Well, basically extends is letting the it's letting the server know that hey, this is the plugin. Load this thing, right? So yeah. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna type at override. I'm gonna do public void on enable. So enable, and then do that. And then open up and enter in the curly braces. So now you should have something like this. Um, if not, this should the red lines or something. That means you did something wrong. But hopefully it's like this. All right. Now what you're going to type is you're going to do bucket.getlogger.info. 
uh, uh, episode one has been enabled. Enabled. Sweet. That's great. So, nice. So, what next we're going to do is you're going to just copy this. And then you're going to paste that in. And normally, what you, you wouldn't want to copy and paste that because you're on enable. And what I'm about to show you next, you're on disable. Disable. Make sure you name these as well, by the way. Name these correctly. So, you're on enable and on disable usually won't just be this simple. For example, um, when I get to that in the series, it'll probably be in the next few episodes. Um, when you register commands, you do it in a different class. If you want to do it in a different class, and you write that in here, you register something called listeners in here, your events, and a lot of other things. And once you get later in the series, you'll see exactly why. But for now, we don't really need to, we could just copy and paste that. So, you're going to change this to obviously disabled. And that's great. Your plugin will pretty much enable, except for one more thing. But that's not really that useful. Why do you want just a plugin that's going to put a console or a message in the console? You want some commands, right? So the next you're going to type is you're going to type public boolean on command, command sender sender, command cmd string l, and then string args or sorry string and then these little brackets and then args and then just expand it out. Now you're going to get some red lines here. It's going to say command sender. Uh, is wrong and command is wrong but and then it'll say all the stuff will be okay so the reason for this is you haven't imported it so you're gonna type alt enter and where it's at and then you're gonna like click on it and then click alt enter and it'll import that for you click on it again alt enter and then click import class if it doesn't automatically come up and make sure you import from org.bucket.command not org.bucket.material and yeah, so your import should be like that. If it's not, then there, you know, you probably did something wrong. Make sure you're, if there's a red line under thing, just Alt Enter, and it'll give you tips of what to do. So now it's saying missing return statement here, because you have to type return false. A boolean is basically something that can be true or false in Java, and so you have to return false, and that you don't have to worry about that right now. But that's why. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type if cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case uh we'll just type hello. If it's uh if it's not that, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say or if it is that, <laughs> then we're gonna check if or I'll sh I'm gonna type this out and you I'll show you guys how how this works in a second. Okay. So you're checking if the sender is an instance of a player. So if the sender is a player, uh, if it's not, then it's probably like it's the console, right? So if the sender is an instance of a player, then you want to do what's in the code. If it's not, then well, then we'll do what's not. We'll do what what we did coded there. But there's obviously red line for player. Just um, import player. All right. So now we're just gonna do. For now, we'll do what what's in else, right? So we're just gonna do sender dot send message. And then we're gonna do chat color dot red plus um make sure importing from org dot bucket at least. And then chat chat color dot red plus um only players can do this command. And then you're gonna type return false underneath that, because that'll stop the code right there. Now what you're gonna do is if the sender is a player, so we know it's a player, right? Then you're gonna do something called casting and you're gonna do player p equals cast player to sender and i spelled player wrong sorry player to sender sweet so now we have a player object and now you can see if i do player dot you can, there's all these things that you could do with the player now and if we just had sender then you, there's not as much i mean it looks the same but it's really not because uh these are all like blind casting and it's not it, it's really dangerous like there'll be problems with your code but anyway so now we're in so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna do p dot send message and we'll do this in gold chat color dot gold plus world and then we'll just return return true because the code worked and yeah that's it that's pretty much it that's all you need to know right for now That'll you all the player will do slash hello and then it'll respond saying world, right? But there's one more thing we have to do. So go on your go to your SRC folder, right click, do new file, and then you have to name this plugin.yml. And 
you don't if you don't know uh, plugin that YML it's basically just how like your how the file the plugin cover sort of gets its identity like in here it takes its name so its name will be our uh, episode one, episode one Alright, we'll just do episode one. Okay, and then the version, you need the version. What I'm typing in here, make sure you copy. So version is the version of the plugin. You have to have that and you have to have name. Um episode or episode one is our name and then version one point oh is our version. All right, for our main main class, that's basically <coughs> sorry. That's basically uh our path to the main class or our location of it. So put it me or not sorry that's my other account <laughs> me dot vision dot f one dot main and that'll basically say okay that's where the main class this is the class that extends Java plugin that's always that's the that's your main class and then you're gonna do description uh episode one of the spigot slash bucket bucket coding series okay and then commands and then do a new commands and then you're gonna enter and then do two spaces over it and then you're gonna do our command was hello and then you're just gonna do that and then enter and two spaces over and then it'll be description uh, sorry description um hello world command sorry. and then you're gonna, actually, you don't need to do that. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, your that's your plugin that YML. Make sure you have that. And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go file product structure. Uh, this is glitched out again. Oops. Okay, uh, artifacts. So I don't know why this is all glitched out. <laughs> okay. Okay, go to artifacts. <coughs> Sorry, artifacts um, plus jar empty. Um, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. Delete that. File plus jar from modules with dependencies. And then say create jar from modules. And then OK. And it'll come like this. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to extracted spigot 1.8.8.jar and then delete that. But keep episode 1 compile output. And then name will be um, episode1.jar. Output directory. Obviously, you're just gonna make this your plugins folder on your server, or if you're you know doing anything else, you can put it wherever. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna put it on my test server. Uh, plugins. Okay, and then slash sorry. Episode 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 sorry episode one dot jar. If I could spell properly, there we go. And I'm just gonna do apply. And then it's gonna say manifest file not a found not found. You don't really need it. Doesn't matter. Right, okay. And then we're done. So now we're just gonna go to fi or build, and then you're gonna do build artifacts build. And we'll get our compile output and compilation finished. And I'll see you guys in game. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I exported it, and I realized I made a mistake. So um, I happened before, and actually I can show you real fast. I'm gonna go ahead and build it again, and you'll see what happens. Okay, so I built it, and yeah, I made this uh, episode one dot jar, you know, folder, and I did not mean to do that. So an easy fix for that is if you go back into your IntelliJ, uh, go to file project structure and do exactly what you did before, but instead of having like uh, that, just leave that at the end right there. I hit OK, and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and um, delete that, and I also yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and rebuild it, because uh, I did not mean to do that earlier. Okay. Alright, so built it, and if we go ahead and take a look, it should be right there. Now I'll go to our server, and we'll start it up, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move it over here, because I think I have some um, other files. Okay. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do, episode one, as you can see, uh, we left, we... So the way this bigot works is that it will automatically put a message saying episode 1 enabling episode 1 v whatever. But uh, what we did was we had put another message that said episode 1 has been enabled and it, it did indeed do that. So just, just to show you guys it, 
you got episode one has been enabled and that's exactly what happened here so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna join the server and we're just, sorry i was working on some other stuff but uh we're just gonna go ahead and make it um that first okay so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply write hello and it sends us the message back world now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how, how we did this from the console if we do slash hello it said only players can do this command so yeah that's gonna be it for this episode if you guys do have any questions please sure to leave them down below uh, respond to what you want to see I don't really have a full list what I want to do yet but I'm still uh, I definitely need some more uh, ideas so yeah thank you guys for watching be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time peace out